this was the first gym that was built, and it obviously looked like a gym back then. 1894, William Morgan was here as a student. He was playing football for James Naismith. He had left this dream of being an engineer and found the YMCA when he was at Northfield Mount Hermon, and that's a whole story in itself, but he really got involved with the YMCA and decided that he wanted to come to the YMCA training school. And so he was here, 1894, as a student, as an athlete, when this building went up. He graduates in 1895, almost immediately goes into YMCA work. He's at the Holyoke Y. He's finding that the businessmen are, are kind of getting roughed up at lunchtime, getting bloody noses, playing basketball, and, and there's a need that he is trying to kind of be in the gap of. There's a need for exercise and activity for the people coming into the Y, but he needs a new game. And essentially, what did he do? He divided the participants. He threw a net up inside, and before you knew it, he developed some rules and he called the game Nintonet. And about a year later, 1896, Springfield College, a long time a leader in physical education at YMCA, had a, a physical director's conference right here in this building and right here in this gym. And one of his professors, Professor Halstead, the story goes, came up to him at the end and said, I love the game, but you should call it Volleyball.